In this problem, we're told to find how fast an RPM must a centrifuge rotate if a particle 8 centimeters from the axis of rotation is to experience an acceleration of 125,000 g's. So before we start this, let's write down what we're given first. So what are we told? So they tell us that it's going to rotate if a particle 8 centimeters from the axis of rotation. And when they give you a distance from the axis of rotation, what they're really talking about is the radius of your circle. Right? So if this is our axis of rotation, and we imagine it like a circle like this, Right? So imagine this is our circle. They're saying this distance, and we know this distance is the radius. So they tell us the radius. So it's going to be 8 centimeters. And they tell us the acceleration, right? So the acceleration of 125,000 g's. And so this is the centripetal acceleration. And so we know it's going to be 125,000 g's. So that's going to be that. And so what we're trying to do here is solve for velocity. So notice how they're asking in RPM, and so that's going to be a velocity. So we need to solve for velocity, and so hopefully by now you know this formula. A sub C, or your centripetal acceleration, is equal to V squared over R. So this is the formula we use, and so notice how what we can do is solve for V, because that's what we're going to need to solve this. So if we multiply both sides by R, and then we square root both sides, you're going to get that V is equal to the square root of a sub c times r. So this right here is going to be your formula, and this is what we're going to use to solve. So notice how we have a sub c and we have r, but they're not in the correct units. We have to convert them both to meters before we do this. So let's first convert these into the correct units. So if we want to convert centimeters to meters, we know there's 100 centimeters for every 1 meter. And so what we can do is essentially divide this by 100. So 8 divided by 100 is 0.08. So 0 0.08 meters. And then we got to convert this one into uh, meters per second squared, right? So essentially, when you have something in Gs, uh, you can multiply by 9.8 to get it in meters per second squared. So 125,000 times 9.8. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 1,225,000 uh, meters per second squared. So this is going to be it in meters per second squared. Now we've got them both in meters and meters per second squared. So now we can just plug it in. So V is going to be equal to the square root of A sub C, which is 100, or 1,225,000. And then we multiply it by the radius, which is 0 0.08. So this is going to give us our velocity. And so our velocity is going to be, if you go ahead and do this, 313 meters per second. And so what we're trying to do is find uh, the rotations per minute. This is just going to be the velocity uh, that our object is going, right? And so there's going to be a formula you can use to convert this. So our RPM is going to be equal to our velocity we just found times 1 over 2 pi times your radius. And then you want to multiply it by, notice how they're asking it in minutes. So if they were asking for something else, we also have to convert the time, right? So we know this is in seconds. So if we want to get it in minutes, we know there's 60 seconds for every one minute. So we got to multiply it by 60. So let's go ahead and solve. So RPM is going to be equal to our velocity, 313 times 1 over 2 pi times our radius, which is 0.8 or 0 0.08 times 60, essentially. So this right here is going to be your answer. So if you go ahead and solve. 313 times 1 over 2 pi times 0 0.08 times 60, you're going to get uh, 37,361.6. And so they want you to round, so just round it to like 37,400. And so it's going to be RPM, so 37,400 RPM. And so this right here is going to be your final answer, and hopefully you found this useful.